Hello everybody, Jamie with KerplunkGaming.com here doing a tutorial on how to install custom bucket plugins that we don't offer in our one click install list. So very first thing you want to do is actually find the plugins that you want to install. So there's a lovely list that bucket provides called the bucket plugin list. This is found at plugins.bucket.org and this is just a massive list of plugins everything from super cauldrons to custom nodes to weatherman just anything that you could think of there's definitely a plugin for it. So one that I was super interested in was super cauldrons water sources done right. So I clicked on it went to the dev page and now I get this screen. I can click download and this will download what is called a .jar file. So a .jar file is just a collection of JavaScript code that can be used to modify Minecraft. Fantastic. So once I downloaded it, I got this little jar right here called Super Cauldron. But before, I also downloaded a very popular plugin called DyneMap. And so DyneMap was a bit interesting because it came with both a folder and a dot jar file so this folder here needs to be uploaded w into your server as well as the dot jar a thing like super cauldrons that's just the jar file super easy just one file to upload so let's see how we actually upload these files if you go to your game panel which is game.kerplunkgaming.com log into your account there we go you'll be greeted with the dashboard. This lists all the services you have open with Kerplunk. So I have a vanilla server and a bucket server. So I wanna edit the bucket server today. So I can click on the title or anywhere in this gray box, or I can click on my services and hit MC bucket and I'll get to my edit window. So here I have six different sections. I've got edit, default config files, install updates, install mod, reinstall, server and file manager. So if, the, uh, have, if you've already looked through this install mod section, you can't see it, then this is our one click install. We have a video uh, about this, this section. So go and watch that if you're a bit confused about this. But if the plugin you want is not on this list, then keep watching. So there are two ways that you can do this. Uh, if it's something simple like super cauldrons, you can go straight through our file manager. So this file manager lets you upload a single file just right here. It says upload file. Um, but where you want to do that is in what's called the plugins folder. So if I look here, there it is my plugins folder. If I click that, and as you can see, I have no plugins installed on this server. If I just hit upload file, and then I choose my file. So let's go find Super Cauldrons here. It'll open up this uh, interface, which you all know and love as Windows. Go to Plugins, uh, go to Plugins again, and then I have Super Cauldrons. If I hit Open and then hit Upload, there we go. It'll start uploading my Super Cauldrons, and there it is, plugins.supercauldrons.jar, which is fantastic. So now if I restart the server, here we go. It's just taking a little while to restart the server. There we go. Now, if I go back to the file manager, you'll see that Super Cauldron is installed. And now that plugin is installed and working on my server. And look, it made it even a little uh, folder for itself, which probably includes a config file. Most plugins will make a file for itself, which will in, uh, indeed include a configuration file. You can figure out more about what to do with configuration file based on which plugin you have. They all have documentation. So if we're looking at something to upload like DyneMap, which has a .jar and a folder, a little bit more advanced, and we can't actually upload folders with the upload file button in this file manager. So we're gonna have to bust out the big guns and we call the big guns FileZilla. So this is a FTP program that makes you access the your account, um, your server, and you can uh, upload or download anything from your server right there. So if you hit download FileZilla client on FileZillaProject.org, then you'll get a program that looks a little bit like this. Here we have FileZilla. On the left windows here, you can see our local machine, and on the right, will be the server once we connect. And you're probably like, wait, where do I connect to the server? How do I connect to it? 
And uh, basically, the way you can do that is if you go to Kerplunk Gaming, your gaming panel again, click on File Manager, you'll have IP, Port, User, and Password, and that is how you connect to this server. So the IP is your host, so 66.228.54.97 your port will be 21 your username will be listed there as well and then the password is just the same password you used to access your panel hit quick connect and uh, i may have entered the password in wrong looks like i did so we'll try that one more time get the password right there we go now we're listed in uh you can see that i have a couple services here it's only because i have uh this is our testing server, so we have a couple folders here. But the one we want is the one that matches our port. So 25567, so 25567. It's this folder right here. And we can see the plugins folder that we had looked at before right here. And we'll be able to see Super Cauldrons. So, so here is Super Cauldrons, which I uploaded before in the web interface. But now I want to upload DynMap. So if I open up this, literally all I do, select the DynMap jar and the folder itself and drag and drop. So it'll upload all of that right now, dragging and dropping right into this folder. And as soon as that is done, there we go. It's uploading all of its folders. Oh, it has to upload a ton of textures for DynMap uh, because uh, of the way this plugin actually works. So once this is all done, you just go back to your game manager and just restart the server. And if you restart the server, then your bucket plugins are working and everything should work the way you want it to. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys are still confused, please refer to our Knowledge Center, which I have linked in the description down below. Or you can file a support ticket at contact at kerplunkgaming.com. Thank you again for watching and have fun playing Minecraft.